Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got three parcels to look at today. Different variety of things today. So I have opened them to see what they were because they all came in one huge bag. Um, and I thought, oh, well, I'll just pick these three out and we'll have a look at these first. So I'll pop that one on one side. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. And the first one is a very, very useful item. Okay, so it's from Art Dot. I did get it through AliExpress. Unfortunately, they didn't have it on uh, Amazon when I was looking. And it's a diamond painting colour chart. So, life is more fun when you die when you paint with diamonds. Okay. Now let's have a look at this. So what have we got on the back then? Is that just a list of all the different numbers? I think that's a list of the 447 different numbers there. Okay, and how do I get into it? Where's the opening? Where's the opening? I do struggle with these openings and I don't know why. <laughs> well, I do know why, it's just me. <laughs> okay, and look, it's a full set of DMC colours, but they're all in colour families with the numbers next to them. So if you are doing a project and you want in, say, a green, you can look on your colour code and see which green you want. We've got blacks and greys here to browns. So rather than them all being in DMC number, which if you suddenly want a green and uh, you've got all your colours in DMC numbers, they're all scattered about in your boxes, in your storage boxes. But this actually shows you them all in the same place. And I just think that was such a good idea. You can buy the blank one. And I did think, shall I get the blank one and do it myself? And then I thought, no, for an extra couple of pounds, you can get one that's already done. So that's what I've done. And plus as well, if you have got um, your drills that have come without DMC numbers on, then you can now match up rather than having to go through the bags that you've got in your storage. You could just say, right, I've got a purple drill here. I haven't got the DMC number for it and try and match it up with one of these and then it will give you an idea as to which the colour is and I just think this is brilliant and I don't know why I didn't get it before <laughs> I have got one of those books as I said to put um, the drills on the colours so that they are all in DMC number order but I just thought this is going to be more handy um, because it's in the colour families and don't they look fantastic all spread out like that Plus as well, if you are doing a project of your own, these are giving you different shadings. So if you're wanting to say do, I don't know, a sunrise, a sunflower or something like that, you can look at your yellows and see which ones go together. So you've got a three as like a gradient there that you could put together. Sorry, that's four, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> eyesight, Liz, eyesight. Um, but yeah, I just think it's brilliant. What a fantastic idea and like the fact that it's gusseted as well look so it will stand on a shelf like a book we just fold it there that little bit i don't like a gusset <laughs> oh dear right so yeah so it stands up and i just thought yeah that's going to be so handy as diamond painting tools go I think this is going to be one that's used quite a bit more than some of the others. So, yeah, if you've got your ABs, you can maybe match those up with it as well. So you know which ones you've got and which ones you haven't. And again, they're all in colour families. Oh, just love that. So, In fact, I'm even more pleased with this seeing it in real life than I was when... Uh, I saw it on the uh, website. I did think, oh, I wonder what it's going to be like. But it's a really good quality card as well. This is a really nice, substantial card. And I wonder if this is for you to tick them off yourself. Look at what we've got. Keep out of sunlight, waterproof. Keep dry area between 0 degrees and 30 degrees. Okay, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that. If we reach 30 degrees, I'll let you know. 
pen. So what have we got? Colour number. In column. I wonder why we've got that. I wonder if that's for you to put your own on so that you can tick them off. But actually, as I say, you could put your ABs on that, couldn't you? Or is that is that 150 is three? Oh, it's the column number look. Oh, oh. oh if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Yeah. So if you're looking for your gem, so if you want 939, say, so we'll look on here. 939 is in column seven. So we would go to column seven. And 939 is there, look, on column seven. Wow. Oh, that is so clever. Oh, I do like that. Oh, wow. Oh, I, do you know, I'm going to be playing with this for hours now. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so that's my first purchase. So love that. Excellent. Like that one. Okay, so the next one is just a little bit of fun. Um these are more for like my card making and coming up to Christmas and things but these are little teeny tiny uh, diamond gems the diamond shaped gems you can maybe see them better on the uh, coloured one that's the mixed colour you can get all of those different colours and then that's the that's like a blue uh, white AB and then that's the clear resin a b one and i just think they're smashing but what i probably do with these is put them in shaker cards oh, i've just grabbed one of these out so i do still do like a, a crossover um of my crafts while i'm doing them so say you've got um i don't know a flower or something that you've put and you've popped one of these it's got glitter on it that's probably from christmas when i was doing that you can get different shapes in these like acetate bubbles uh this is a shallow oval one uh, you can get round ones you can get rectangle ones you can get square ones all sorts um and you just put double-sided tape a very strong double-sided tape or glue around the edges um before you actually put it onto the card you would put i would put say some of these into it and then when you stick that on there then all the little bits are inside it and you shake it and you've got what we would call a shaker card. Um, I may do one on camera at some point uh, when I get my card making things out. More likely to be nearer Christmas because I do tend to do shaker cards um, at more at Christmas. But I just think just rather than putting snow bits in or little round gems or something like that, these were just so much fun. I'll focus a little bit on that way. Yeah, I think you can see that. Look, you can just see you've got little tiny diamond shapes in all of them. And I just oh, they're brilliant. I think they really cost me about a pound. They were only little and there's a lot of them. I mean, you could even put them on your diamond paintings if you wanted to. Um, You know, you, you would just stick them down as normal, I suppose. You could maybe make patterns with them. But I just saw them and I thought, oh, I've got to have those. But look at the sparkle on that one. Wow absolutely gorgeous i'll put all the links down below um so you can uh, go and check them out yourselves but yeah as i say they do do all different colors but they were the three that i would find the most useful i mean you could even pick them out and put a border around uh, a picture or whatever that you've got but yeah love those absolutely love those so right and then the final item that i got um now this one's <laughs> see we've got a clock so we have a clock but which one did i get let's pull this one out it's got a little bit squished as it's come through we've got a nice dent in the middle there okay and i think if you probably put it this way up know what theme i'm on at the moment look we have a clock just move those to one side it's got very very squished and it's a partial drill okay we've got oh look we've got a pair of tweezers yippee <laughs> a pink pen a boat and wax we've got all your drills there which oh we've got an ab white in that one we'll have a look at those in a minute 
But yes, we have a bee a 30 by 30. So let's just switch it out. I did think it might be a full drill, actually. I am quite... I don't know. I mean, I don't seem to read, instru uh, read instructions, read descriptions very well anyway. I'm forever getting things wrong. <laughs> so it's as much a surprise to me as it is to you when I open them up. But yeah, I have got a wreath that looks like this bee, um, but the bee's on the other side. And I just thought, mm, I may or may not have a clock in my bedroom. Um, I'm no good with ticking clocks. If it ticks really loudly, then it won't be in the bedroom. I can't do with any noise on a night when I'm going to sleep. Um, we do have a fan in the room, and quite often I don't sleep. Well, I don't get a lot of sleep anyway, we could be, but um, yeah, if uh, the fan's going, I seem to have got a bit used to that, but ticking clocks. Just just can't sleep with a ticking clock. I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. You'd think that the rhythm of a ticking clock would be quite soothing and send you to sleep, but no. In my head, it just seems to get louder and louder and annoy me more and more and more. <laughs> oh dear, when we used to have to be up, um, to be at work for five o'clock in the morning, and we used to have all the alarms set around because you were frightened that one wouldn't go off. And so we used to have an electric one. Um, I mean, this is the days before digital and everything and, you know, you using your phone and things like that. But you used to have uh, an electric one set up. But then you'd think, well, if we had a power cut, it's not going to go off. So then we used to have like a battery operated one. Um, and we thought, oh, what if that one doesn't go off because the batteries go? So then we'd also have a wind up one as well. So we'd have three t clocks ticking in the bedroom. Well, the electric one didn't really tick, it used to hum. But uh, yeah, two clocks ticking in the bedroom, it used to drive me mad. Yeah, you just didn't want to get up, particularly if you've got keys for a shop and you're the one that's uh, opening up. You don't want everybody stood there outside waiting for you to arrive. So, yeah, this is 30 by 30. I think you can just about see a faint blue line where it says to cut it. Now, in this case, um, I will put this onto a 30 by 30 frame. But let me just have a look. Let me just see. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. And so it is actually 30 centimetres. Right. I was thinking I might be able to use those that I've got. The diamond painting frames that I bought that I did the unboxing on a couple of weeks ago. I thought I might be able to use those. But this is actually a 30 by 30. So it's going to have to go on my 30 by 30 frame. So I will put all the drills on it and then it will go on there and wrap around. So I'm not keen on the white background, but I think it would be too hard um, to actually do anything else with this. It's so intricate to go in between the leaves. It's not going to be stable enough to make it into a clock. And because the numbers are in the middle there as well. Yeah, it's going to have to have, it's just going to have to go on to uh, one of these frames. I'll just have to stretch it over one of these frames uh, and use it that way. Plus as well, that means that it's raised off because you do need um, that little bit of height at the back. You can't have these flat. How does this open? Does it open this way? Yes, it does. Okay because you do need the clock mechanism to go on the back so that yeah once that pushes through there then that's about the same width as that and hopefully that will hold in the middle and i did i have done one of these clocks before i did an owl one um, and i actually looked on youtube for the instructions of how to put the, put the clock together because there's no instructions with these uh, but it does actually have a set of hands and it does have a second hand as well. And they do work and they do keep time. I'm not quite sure why you do get two sets of hands. I don't know we've only got... Oh, yes, we have. So we've got the black ones. Yeah, I will. once I've made this, I will uh, do a putting it together and show you how it works, um, how it goes together. Because... 
the one I got, I ended up having to put it with the silver hands up rather than the black because of the way that these were punched and they wouldn't fit onto the mechanism properly. They would go that way, but they wouldn't go that way. So we'll see whether this one's the right way around or not. But yeah, they're, they're a little bit fiddly to do. Um, but I think for the money, they're okay. And yeah, they do work. Just one uh, AA battery that goes in there. And yeah, it probably will tick, but we'll see. <laughs> If it does tick, it'll probably just end up in my craft room and it'll just have to es get escorted into a different room while I'm filming because I don't want a ticking clock while I'm filming uh, my YouTube videos. But yeah, I think that's pretty good. I just love the bee. I think that's really just nice and fresh and the Sam um, into bees at the minute. don't know why. It's just this thing that's... I've suddenly started just liking bees. So let's have a look at these bees. Let's see what we've got. So oh, we have, uh, oh, it goes right up to B, <laughs> 12, 13, 14 different gems. Okay, so wow, look at that one. That is a really bright orange. Goodness me, lovely, like that. And then we've got like a honey gold colour. Two bags of that, is that the same one? Yes, that's number two. And then we've got our white ABs there. That's pretty. So that must be bees' wings, I think. And then a couple of green colours for the leaves, just to give you that variegation. And like a brownie colour, an ambery brownie colour there. They're both the same. No, they're two different shades. Oh, they do look the same in this light, but uh, they're obviously different. They've got different numbers. And then we've got uh, a marquee with an AB, iridescent coating on. And then we have, goodness me, look at the size of those teardrops. They are tiny. So I think they're going to be going somewhere on the sunflowers, possibly. Goodness me, what's that B? Can I say B? Can I see where B goes? B, 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 where are you? Oh, B is in the bee's wings. <laughs> So we're going to have little splashes of gold coming through. I wonder if that's going to be like as though it's got the reflection from the sunflowers. Because that's more or less, well, it is more or less the same colour as number two, which is the main colour on the sunflowers. Ooh, that's clever. I like that idea. That's different. Okay, and then I say the specials, the ABs and the... Uh, little marquees there are all on the wings as well just to give you that like iridescent just that little see-through sparkly bee wings oh, he's lovely little fluffy bee do you like it when uh, you go up to a bee and uh, it goes like this at you <laughs> it's like stay away stay away they're sort of like they do they bring their hands up when i was little i always used to think they were waving you know say oh hello hello <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, I'd say, oh, that bee's waving at me. And my brother would say, it's not waving at you. It's waving its fist at you so you don't go near it and stand on it. Oh, it's like, oh, I would never stand on a bee. Oh, no. <laughs> if they come in the house, I'd just pick them up with a tea towel and escort them out the door. Oh, never harm a bee. Right. So that's quite a, a different little haul. As I say, I've got uh, quite a few different things there. So we have a B clock. So we'll always be on time and be ready. Oh dear. Sorry, that's the end of the B jokes. <laughs> we got our little sparkly diamonds in uh, the packets there. That. It just looks like ice, like cracked ice. And then we got our art dot chart. Look at that. That is definitely going to be used so much. It's going to have to be somewhere handy. And I think I've got one of those clear big plastic bags. So I can put it in the clear plastic bag. Yeah. And then it will fold over. Because this one, 
if I put it back in there, it'll always be folded over. But if I put it in a big bag, so it covers all of it, then I'll be able to shut it and open it up and it'll still have the bag on it. Good idea, Liz. Oh, yes. Right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Um, it's certainly been a different little haul this time. Uh, if you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. If you've got any questions or uh, comments, if you can leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. Uh, if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.